Tonight, Mobile City leaders are considering axing police and fire protection services to roughly 70,000 people who live just outside the city limits in what's called the police jurisdiction, a move that's making homeowners very concerned and for good reason, says Mobile's own public safety director. Those sorry. up in flames in the Bradbury subdivision on Cody Road. Right now, Mobile Fire Rescue puts it out. But if Councilman Joel Dave's proposal passes in two years, people living here will have to come up with another option. We will be forced to create a fire district. Which means a volunteer fire department might have to be created to service a densely populated area that also has numerous commercial properties. An unacceptable scenario, says Mobile Public Safety Director James Barber. Our analysis of that area is that a volunteer fire department would not be equipped or staffed properly to handle that area. For example, says Barber, if an apartment building or a large commercial building like Walmart caught fire, ladder trucks would be needed which volunteer departments, he says, typically don't have. There's also the question about what kind of ISO rating a startup volunteer fire department would have, which has a direct link on how much you pay in insurance. Mobile Fire Rescue currently has the best rating available. We've been overwhelmed with concerns from people that live in that jurisdictional band, and rightfully so. Well, Councilman Dave's proposal got a lot of pushback at today's city council meeting. Both city and county leaders questioned the true cost burden to the city providing these services. County commissioners also spoke publicly about the burden this would place on an already understaffed sheriff's department. And as we just mentioned, the issues with having to come up with fire protection services in just two short years. Dave says he would be open to pushing the deadline, but believes there needs to be one. Otherwise, nothing changes. I don't have any interest in in leaving these folks in the lurch. I think we're all we're all agreed on that. A council committee will meet to discuss this issue January 14th at 2 o'clock.